Hello everyone, it's Suzanne here. Thanks for joining me for another Fabricate Friday video. This is the box I'm going to share with you today. It's made from the envelope punch board. All right, um, this is uh, the layering piece here is van very vanilla. This is typeset designer series paper and the ribbon actually comes from my paper pumpkin kit which was April 2016. So um, I don't, we can't, we don't sell um, this particular ribbon. I do not think, or Stampin' Up! does not, but I'm sure you'll be able to find something similar if you really wanted it. It, it folds a bow like butter. Okay, so here's my envelope punch board. You need a piece of cardstock that is eight and a half by eight and a half, and we're going to score at, punch and score at three and one quarter for our first Then we're gonna slide it over to six and one eighth. All right, so I've made my two punch and scores. I'm just gonna turn it. I'm going to, we always call this the point, pointy out thing, but there's an actual name here. It says score guide. So I'm pointing the score guide right up to the score that I have made and I'm going to punch and I'm going to try to get as far as I can. I'm not going to worry too much if I can't go all the way down to that edge. I can kind of see where that score is and I can reinforce the score at the end with my ruler. Almost done. There. Okay. Rounding the corners. And don't ever round your corners first. You, um, it's hard to find accurate measurements if you do. And if you notice that I just have a little extender piece, you can make your own. I've just stuck it to the back of mine. Just a piece of black cardstock and some Fast Fuse. Fast Fuse is amazing glue. It does a lot. Okay, there's a couple little pieces that I want just to go over, just to make sure that my box will come together a lot, uh, quite easily. So I'm just taking my ruler lining it up and that's all I have to do. Okay, so we are folding and burnishing those score lines. It's important to have a square box. Okay, now I'm going to cut from this notch to that score line. So basically here and here and here and here. And it does help with these craft scissors if you have them because all it takes is one cut. You are, they, they cut like, they cut like butter again. Okay. So while I'm here, um, well, we'll put the box together here. So I'm going to flip it around so that the scores are mountains and I'm going to put fast fuse close to the score line on those, that tab that we just cut. And I only want to do it on the bottom. So what I like to do when I especially when it's an envelope punch board box because it's kind of a little bit wobbly. I do like to take this edge here and put it into the crease there on my desktop or a flat sur surface so that I know, like I could come up and do it this way too, but 
it's it may not be um, completely square so at least if I cut if I cut decently straight here I know that um, my box will be nice and square as I put those two down okay so this piece is going to go in first this piece is going to go in second so you can see if I put adhesive just along this side it's going to hit this piece but I can only go about two-thirds when this piece goes over top I'm going to go the full half and then almost a third almost a half actually if it was square so that's what I'm gonna do just a little bit of adhesive along this bad boy here and then the piece that's going to be covering everything I hope you can see what I'm doing ah. okay so just again to try to make it square I'm going to bring the lid up you can hold it with your finger if you want so that piece that only has the third I'm putting down eventually it'll catch and then the last piece goes down okay and then you can put your hands in it that was just so that I can make it nice and square all right so these flaps don't look very attractive I'm not really fond of the flaps that look like that so I'm just gonna lop off about an inch and an inch on this side and the one thing just to help it to close nicely is I'm going to wedge out that piece it's much easier to do it when the box has been made though instead of doing it at the end or at the beginning all right so that is the box made oops that's the box made really cute okay okay so the DSP sizing for this little guy um, I'm actually doing layers where's the example so um, I have very vanilla and the type set so um, the you're going to need two pieces of very vanilla that size two and five eighths by three and seven eighths and then the DSP on top of that would be two and a half by three and three quarters. So I'm just giving it like one sixteenth of it, it a border all the way around. So you're gonna need two of those sizes. And then for the sides, um, you're going to need a very vanilla three and seven eighths by one and three quarters. And then for the designer series paper, it will be three and th uh, sorry, one and five eighths by three and three quarters. I will have everything written on my blog sunstampin.com and if you look in the description bar below you're going to see um, it says details to this project and it's going to have a little funky looking link and that link will take you directly to this blog post this project's blog post okay um, the lid uh, very vanilla two and five eighths by one and three quarter inches and the DSP two and a half by one and five eighths now you can see there's a little V going on here so I'm going to take my oval punch I am going to center and punch so it takes away a little bit of that gives a finger hold too and that was the um, oval punch 
Okay, glue dots on my bow, pre-done, of course, so that you don't have to watch me fumble with the bows. I'm not too bad, but I'm not fabulous either, so. And I know there's, you know, we all, something happens when you're on video. Um, I think Wendy Cra Crawford, Cranford? Cranford, that's what she says. Um, she is another Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the States. And she basically says that, yep, yeah, when you're on video, it only happens on video, but when you're tying a bow on video, it's, it's like a curse. Something happens to you and you get all fumble fingers. So I agree with her. So I did it off camera and it turned out fabulous. What do you think? I like them. They're super sturdy too with that extra paper on there. Anyway, <laughs> thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Bye.